Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be making a mini vivarium or terrarium, depends which way you look at it. We'll start this project off with just a standard two and a half gallon aquarium that I de-rimmed and silicone some custom glass pieces on so that there's a tight fitting lid without a rim at all. It's not perfect when it comes to silicone job or anything like that, but it looks pretty sharp and it definitely gets the job done. The lid of course is not completely airtight, but it keeps almost all the moisture in and that's really all we need. I wanted to incorporate a 3D background into this build and for that I needed cork bark. This was just a single cork bark log that I broke up into a bunch of different pieces. Because this is such a small little setup, I only needed one log and it was plenty for this background. I then dry fit all the pieces in place to get an idea of where I wanted them to go and then used hot glue to temporarily affix them so that they would stay put before I added silicone. I then used 100% silicone to cover all the exposed glass areas around the cork bark. Not only will this provide a sticking medium for the cocoa fiber, I'll be pressing into it later, but it'll also permanently affix the cork bark to the background. Once I had the back glass thoroughly covered with silicone, I pressed a layer of cocoa fiber into it. This method of cocoa fiber backgrounds may not be viable for a long term solution in a larger tank, but for a small one like this, it works really well and it looks great. Now it was time for the false bottom or drainage layer. For this, I simply used some rinsed pea gravel. I then added a layer of window screen mesh as a barrier between the straightage layer and the substrate. I then added the substrate mix, which is a custom blend of potting soil, mulch bark, aqua soil, and some sand. I kept the hardscape simple on this one with just a few pieces of driftwood that I cut to fit the scape. I stuffed rehydrated sphagnum moss in some of the pockets in the cork buck.
All right, everybody, and so concludes our second terrarium slash vivarium build on the channel. Don't worry, I won't be switching over to only doing this kind of stuff, but it's nice to mix it up a little bit. So this is my first kind of full scale terrarium vivarium I've done. I've done a couple jar terrariums. I did that lamp terrarium recently. Check out that video. That's a really fun one. But this is my first little vivarium. And as you can see, it's honestly really a small setup, just a two and a half gallon aquarium. But I really think it looks great been running for i don't know maybe two days now and the only problems we've had so far is a little bit of mold uh developing on the wood right here you can see some of it coming in right here and there's some fluffy white mold that's kind of been developing um i got some springtails on order they'll be on their way so hopefully they'll help take care of that but again this is just kind of developing stages helping this whole setup settle in and hopefully this mold will be taken care of all the plants so far are doing great. This string of turtles plant right here is really poking up, looking good. Had a little bit of die off on the oak leaf, especially in this back corner right here. But the stuff up front is looking great. I'm sure this stuff will take over and it's gonna be awesome. Loving my red vein Fetonia and these cryptanthuses right here. I actually got these cryptanthuses on clearance because some of them weren't looking great. You can see there's a couple yellowing leaves, but I think they're gonna come into their own in this setup. Everything's looking great. It's really a nice humid environment in here and I hope these plants continue to mature. I definitely wanna get something to fill in this gap right here. Um, I kind of left this open just cause I didn't have anything that would suit it. Um, and also there's no moss in this terrarium at all. I definitely wanna add that at a later date, but it's really just a nice simple setup that looks really good and hopefully will perform well over time. Again, this is just a standard two and a half gallon Aquion tank that I took the rim off of and did a little bit of custom glass cutting right here to make a lid that fits this design. The lid, if you have any concerns of it not keeping the humidity in, is actually really tight. You'll see that this seam right here, it is super tightly on there um, and there really aren't any air gaps. So this thing is really nice and easy to remove, super easy to access, but it seals up pretty tight as well. We've got the rims all around right here, just glass that I cut and it doesn't look horrible. It's not perfect, but I think it looks pretty good, honestly. And it definitely looks better than just having that ugly rim on there. And it serves its function really well so far. Lighting wise, we just have a Nikru Classic Aquarium LED, nothing crazy, nothing expensive. And this whole setup is just super simple and I'm really excited to watch it grow in as it matures. Thanks for watching everybody and I'll see you guys next time.